just grab them in the biscuits. Also told you that I like to fight. Hey everybody. I lost power, so I'm gonna be filming this episode by candlelight. Hope that doesn't bother you. Well, anyways, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and let's get into how we make these biscuits. These are a low-carb keto alternative to biscuits. They're really tasty, super easy to make. And as a bonus, they're gluten-free as well, if you're intolerant to gluten. So for the base for these biscuits, you're gonna take one cup of almond flour, gonna add in two teaspoons of baking powder, a generous pinch of salt, whisk all your dry stuff together, and add in one egg, and a quarter cup of sour cream. So this is the base for the almond flour biscuits, and you can really do whatever you want here. You could go savory, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some cheddar garlic biscuits. You could make, you know, an Italian style biscuit. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm sure you could even make these sweet and add in some chocolate chips or something and make them almost like a cookie. So like I said, we're gonna do a garlic cheddar. So for ours, we're gonna add in some black pepper, a few generous shakes of garlic, and I'm gonna go with extra sharp white cheddar. Get your sponge ruiner out and go ahead and shred up some cheese. Oh wow, the inside of this thing looks like every rap video from like the late 90s to the mid 2000s. Cool. Alrighty, add your cheese into your dough mixture, give that a good stir, get it all incorporated, take out a sheet pan, throw some foil down, make it non-stick, and you're gonna do roughly tablespoon sized drops of biscuits. We're just gonna try and drop these on here, which, I don't know, doesn't always work that well, so you're gonna end up using your hands. With this recipe, you can get anywhere from like 10 to 12 biscuits, depending on how large you make them. If you decide to double this recipe and do more, you pretty much just double all the ingredients, but you're gonna end up adding an extra quarter cup of almond flour so that they don't get too wet. All right, now that our biscuits are ready, we're gonna put that into an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees and let them bake for about 15 minutes or until the tops have kind of browned up a bit. And there we go, looking good. One of the things I like about these biscuits, especially the drop style, is you get mixes of, you know, crunchy parts, softer parts, they're a little chewy in the middle, uh, you get the cheese in there, and oh, oh, the power came back on. Well, that looks nice, so now you can kind of see them all browned up. All right, looking pretty good, hope you enjoy it. Okay, thanks, bye.